What is going on, fellow Pokemon card collecting enthusiasts? This is Jay Scotty Sun back with another Pokemon video. In this video, I'm going to be opening up three vintage booster packs, one of which is a Tops pack, English side of things, uh, one of which is a Japanese fossil pack, and then the other is this Neo Destiny Japanese pack. Really crazy to be opening this up. Never thought I'd open one of these up but I just got this off of eBay. I wanted it at auction for $4.99. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited to open this up. I don't, the reason why I'm opening this up is because this to me feels like it could easily be resealed. And there's a bit of the top, let me show you. So at the top of a Japanese pack, there's usually a lot of extra foil there. And this one got cut off. See that where the, the little knob is, the little hole? <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm a little wary of this pack and I want to make sure that it's real. And what better way to do it than to open it up? And I have three days. I got this yesterday, so really tomorrow would be the last day to actually open up a dispute on eBay. But let's go ahead and open up a my last of the Series 1 Tops packs here. Hunting for a Charizard in this. Uh, hunting for a Charizard in that as well. But let's go ahead and get into this. These ones were kind of sticking, but not super hard. We got a Vulpex to start things off. Show that a little bit better on the camera. We got an Arbok, a Machop. We got a Firo, a Jigglypuff. These ones seem to be in pretty good shape. And uh, for the Hollow, it's an Arbok. So not a great pack so far. Can't even get that off. So we'll go ahead and leave that. Usually I just give these away if I don't think that they're worth grading. Uh, when people order from my eBay store, I just throw these on in. There we go. All right, next up is a Japanese fossil pack. Let's get into this fossil pack, shall we? I gotta remember to keep it right in the middle of the screen because I do wanna recycle this YouTube content over onto Instagram where I'm actually monetized and make money off of posting reels, which is kind of crazy. Uh, but yeah, opening up this fossil pack, have the real start right now. Uh, the hollow on the is always on the front of these packs. Uh, that's looking pretty nice. I'm not seeing any centering issues too much on the back and no lip issues, no corner damage. We got a Cedra, a Weezing, a Slowbro, a Gambler, Energy Search, Side Duck. Horsey, Ekans, and Omanite, and our hollow is a Hitmonlee. Not too shabby. Uh, I will take it. Put that in a sleeve right away, and uh, get that off to PSA to get graded, shall, shall we? Probably get a 10 on that. Not too bad. I've graded that Vul Vulpex several times, too. Okay, and then for the main course of this appetizing meal is this Neo Destiny pack. Never have I ever opened up one of these. And uh, I've also never opened up a Sky Ridge pack, so I'd, I'd like to do that someday too. Maybe I'll just tear it like how I think it should be torn, if this even works. It's not working. So we'll just go ahead and snip into the bottom here. Yeah, I can't believe I'm opening up like a $500 pack right now. Oh man. Hopefully it's in good shape. Hopefully it's authentic. Those are all the things I could really just hope for. It looks to be good, but we're about to find out. Yeah, somebody snipped that top off. Other than that, it looks great, just judging off of this. Uh, but unfortunately I can't get this graded because it does have that snip off at the top. I mean, I could, it would probably grade really low. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. It doesn't look to be resealed at all. Um, Really maybe a light dragon eye is what I'm hoping for, or a shining. Of course, any shining would be great. It's not really wanting to tear there at the bottom. I do want to conserve this pack art, so that bottom is not wanting to do it. I'm gonna go ahead and try to do it from the top. Oh, yep, top's going easy. Now I'd imagine that the hollow's in the front just like the fossil packs, but I could be wrong about that. But let's go ahead and see. So far, the cards are looking great. I'm gonna go ahead and take whatever that might be the hollow on the front. Centering looks decent, a little bit from uh, shifted from the top to the bottom, but maybe still within 10 parameters on the 
on the back. If there's a shining, it should be this card right here, actually. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that here, just in case. We got a Dratini. Not sure what that trainer is. Psyduck. Fortress. Lady Ba. She's sad for some reason. Is she sad because I'm not about to get a, a banger in this pack? Scyther. Fur Alligator. Dark Fur Alligator. And a Oma Star. A Dark Oma Star. Yep, so a Fur Alligator it is. It does look like it's it's within a 10 parameter, which is good to see. I'm gonna get that sleeved up. Uh, man, not the worst hollow from the pack actually it's actually a pretty good one uh i will take that i will definitely take that to the bank uh happy to have that i'm gonna get that sent off to psa to get graded uh but that's it for the video everybody thanks for watching let me know your thoughts on this uh and as always peace out